Shout out to Viper Magazine and it's you rocking out with Teen X. Uh, I keep your hoe upstairs. When she wanna fuck, I just tell her ring the bell. Hit her from the bed. Uh, a girl, one girl took her shirt off, and one guy got like, they were like fighting. Where two guys were fighting, like, like beating the shit out of each other, but enjoying it though. Like I never seen that ever in my life. It was like hard to understand because I'm like, do I see if they're safe or like are they enjoying themselves? So it's like, I don't know. But I'm I'm sure he was fine though. I think that was like Governor's Ball. It was actually a song called High Shit, but it's like, it's a chill song, but it's like, it's like super bouncy. So it's like, you can still march to it if you want. It's like, it's a do what you want song, however you're feeling. Everybody got a personal feel from that song. Like, I might feel amped, but you might feel like you're just vibing, you know? It depends on the song, but definitely. <laughs> For real. I usually, uh, make my songs for like my spinning or like super duper chill like my my chill songs are like overly chill it's not like the average thing like i'm never making like the average like your average type of music i guess i'm just making whatever i want to hear literally so like it could be a songs that my that my fans hate and then it could be a song that my fans love but me like i love all my songs Shoes, uh, bras, um, I ain't gonna lie, some, some boxers, like, I'm like, bro, y'all niggas tweaking. I feel like I've, I've damn near had anything that they could throw, thrown at me, because, like, especially on the King Vamp tour, like, when they, like, ready for Cardi, <laughs> and they just, like, throwing any and everything, bro. So it's like, yeah, I think I've had like every and anything thrown at me during during the set. Yeah, sometimes sometimes like like I learned that during the King Vamp tour, like just maneuver. Like I never really got like hit with anything, but I'm sure if like I get hit, I feel like it's my fault because I didn't move. Like you gotta be quicker than that. Honestly, if you know me, you like you could never see me doing that. Like, if you were with me all day, you'd be like, "How are you even like that amped like on stage? Like, I'm I'm never I'm literally never never that excited. Like, never. I'm usually like this, like just normal, super normal. Yeah, it's like a rush. It's like my playground. Like, literally, I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. I feel like the kid is kid up there. I don't know because the creating is super personal and super like me with the creating process. I keep it, I keep it, uh, keep it like, like super small crowded. Like it's usually just me, my engineer, or probably one extra, somebody who's probably rolling weed for me or something. Like it's not, it's not a lot of people witnessing what I'm doing. So I'm like doing whatever, literally. Like it's amazing to me because I literally, I make songs and I'm like, damn, how the fuck did I make that? And then I'm making another song and then it's like, it's nothing like the last song. It's like, just different vibes all over the place. I feel like I'm just all over the place. Like, I don't even know which way I want to even like go. I'm just doing everything. Definitely, bro, because like these days you got like, everybody got like egos and shit. I really don't. So like, it's like whatever, but I'd rather work with my peers, like people that I know, because like I don't want anyone to be like doing something weird with a song or like it gets crazy, bro. Like some people down the line, you might disagree about the song. You might not like your part. He like it. he likes his part a lot, so he wants to put the song out so much. When you're not friends, when you're not super close, it's not you don't really get an understanding, and it's really. If it's not like a super duper 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 major song, it's like super duper pointless. So yeah, I make songs with my friends though, like all my friends, like people know my friends. I, I make I make songs with everybody, all my friends though, like 
no outsiders. It's like a family thing. We keep it in the family. XXX Tentacion. I never seen him perform. I never seen him in person ever. That's probably the only person I've never seen in person. Like I'm from Atlanta, so it's like you see everybody. I never seen XX. Ever. Stevie J. <laughs> nah, I never seen him either. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think I think he was only out there for the T V show or something. Like <laughs> he left when the T V shit was over. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stevie J was pretty random. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie J is pretty ran a, a random. I don't even th think he's like he's an Atlanta native. He's just like on the TV show. He's not even on the TV show no more. Okay, Freddie, I can talk to that Yeah, facts, facts. It's so much, so much, so many other things than Stevie J. I promise. Mm, and like some super rocky mountains. Like uh, what was that place we performed at? It's called like uh. Um, I think it's in Colorado. It's like Red Rock. It's in America. You ever heard of Red Rock? Or you've seen it, right? <laughs> I never, but, I but, 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 not, not, they have like, yo, that's a spider right there. They have like, uh, they have like, um, it's like all steps and it's all cement. But like, I would, I would change my setting for my people because like, I'm sure they don't want to just be singing right there, just standing still. Like they ready to mosh. But definitely Red Rock though. But I would just change everything around into my liking, and then like just rock out. Yeah. Nah, I don't feel like that's 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 fun enough. I don't really like doing live streams like that. It's kind of awkward. You like performing to like no one, but like everyone at the same time, like. It's no one there, but like everyone's watching. <laughs> everyone's watching. Like my first, I think my first show was a live stream. My first like two shows were live streams. Just strictly live streams though, like nobody there. Like I'm standing in the corner and like just going crazy. I look crazy. My first show I performed in a church in LA. It's like, it's like 60 people there. I think it was way more people there though. It was like a hundred people there, but they was supposed to like capacity at sixty because it was Corona. That was literally last year, like January, like last January. Yeah, I came from the church to the festival. One day I'm gonna be on a world tour. Day and night festival, I believe it was in Anaheim, the Angel Stadium, I believe. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all not from America. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but it's like, it's a nice stadium. And like, I got kicked out and because I was fighting. And like, I seen Cardi and I was like, yo, bro, I need, I need, I need to get back in there. I need some tickets. He gave me some tickets. I got back in. He actually gave me artist wristbands. Got back in though. I always tell people that though. Like that's probably like the most famous moment I've had. Even though I knew Cardi at the time, it was just like I was still a just pure fan at that time. Shout out Cardi. Uh, my girl would want me to say my girl, but like <laughs> I do a lot. <laughs> I do a lot. So it's like uh the best thing um is probably moving my mom. Like moving my mom to different destination I love you mom I love my mom everybody say I love you mom you gotta love your mom bro. <laughs> shout out my mom I never shout out my mom bro shout out my mom man I get chills talking about my mom it's crazy isn't it <laughs> uh that one um, I don't I don't know a lot uh I be I be calling myself Ken Croissant. Like <laughs> when I come to London, I'm Ken Croissant. I'm no longer Ken Carson. I'm just Ken Croissant. You like that? I don't really know y'all slang like that. I don't really know nobody from London like that. Painting? Oh, painting. London thing. Right on spot on. I'm gonna catch on quick. I catch on quick.